Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. Governor Mike Pence announced today state tax funded debt has declined $282 million, or 52% in the past year. The end of the fiscal year report shows the state ended with a surplus of $483 million, which is $93 million higher than the budget bill projected. Its reserve level of more than $1.9 billion is also higher than expected. The reserves would have automatically put money into the pension stabilization fund, but Pence also opted to pay off $66 million in bonds for the Miami Correctional Facility. Pence says paying down those bonds will reduce state spending by approximately $27 million over the next two years. In a statement, House Minority Leader Scott Pilath says the strong fiscal numbers are only meaningful if people are prospering and that continually high unemployment and schools struggling to do with more or with fewer resources are proof that millions of Hoosiers are not. For the second year in a row, Indiana wildlife officials have identified a record number of peregrine falcon chicks, indicating strong growth in the state's population of the once endangered bird. Indiana Department of Natural Resources biologists banded 44 peregrine falcon chicks from 15 nesting sites across the state this year. This tops the previous high mark of 38 set in 2012. Young falcons are banded with leg identification tags to help monitor their movements and survival. Having historically nested on cliffs, peregrine falcons prefer to reside in tall structures such as tall buildings of cities like Indianapolis and Fort Wayne. About half of the birds banded this spring nested along Lake Michigan, with the rest at power plants in the southern part of the state. A recommendation is currently pending to remove the peregrine falcon from the Indiana list of endangered species. The bird was removed from the federal list in 1999. And the Vigo County School Corporation had planned to cut support staff hours so the district wouldn't have to pay for health insurance as mandated by the Affordable Care Act. But President Obama recently announced he was delaying the mandate that all employees working 30 hours or more per week be given benefits until 2015. So Vigo County Superintendent Daniel Tanu says his district is also delaying its cuts, restoring hours and pay to the district's bus drivers, instructional aides and cafeteria workers. Tanu told the IRS at a hearing in April that the impact of the Affordable Care Act would be catastrophic on his school district. He says the delay does not fix that problem. It only kicks the can down the road. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight, 55 degrees as the low and clear skies. Tomorrow, sunny with highs in the lower 80s. And tomorrow night, clear with lows around 60 degrees. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. Saturday, 82 degrees as the high and partly cloudy. Sunday, a 20% chance of thunderstorms. Monday, a 30% chance of thunderstorms with 88 degrees as the high. For more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org. I'm Alex Dierkman.